What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and I'm just going to show you guys another battle that I did with this um, gym leader challenge team. This is my all water team that I'll be using for the challenge. Um, so I got Starmie, Cloyster, Gyarados as my Mega, Toxapex, Greninja, and Politoed. So yeah, we're up against a, t a Titar, an Incineroar, another Greninja, a Hoopa Unbound, an Umbreon, and a Muk. So kind of a mono dark team versus a mono water team if now i don't think i noticed that when i first did this battle but i definitely noticed it now so let's check out let's see what happens um muck comes out against toxapex instantly i'm like okay this is gonna be an interesting little matchup right here um i'm gonna go ahead and throw toxic toxic spikes down i'm gonna toxic whoever comes out um knocked off the item which was good for me he's setting up with curse still so i was a little okay i gotta figure this out gyarados comes out Curses again, boosting that attack and that defense, because I know he gets that Shadow Sneak Mold Breaker coming through. EQ does about 40% damage, um, knocks off, doesn't really do a whole lot. Another super effective EQ. Uh, poison Jab does take out Gyarados early on. I'm like, oh no. Okay, so Hoopa comes out, gets poisoned. I'm like, okay, U-turn, protein, super effective, sashed, goes down from poison right here. So. That was a huge, huge win for me, I felt. Uh, Umbreon comes out, does not have Synchronize, which is good for us. Um, toxics anyway. Um, so now it's kind of like a uh, little stall battle here. You got an impenetrable defense versus uh, unstoppable offense. So yeah, Greninja comes out, gets poisoned. I'm really thankful that I had these spikes out because just poisoning his team is great. Plus Toxapex has this awesome ability that it, it does critical damage to anything that it hits while it's poisoned. So yeah, Ash Greninja, which I'm really seeing a lot of these lately. Um, I just don't know a whole, whole bunch about it. I do have an Ash Greninja in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but I just don't know like how competitively viable it is. Like, should I? I did not, I set up a Cloister. I did not expect the Water Shuriken. Um, I thought I was gonna outspeed, but is what it is extra sensory comes in does a whole lot knocked off got a crit in because he is poison um i was trying to knock off that item he didn't have any uh baneful bunker there which he predicted umbreon gets poisoned again which is good for us moonlight heals himself up uh knocked off again just trying to knock off those leftovers because those are what umbreon is using to stay alive wishes again gunk shot gets a crit 33 percent damage um Greninja's coming out again, gonna take a gunk shot and go down. So whatever comes in is gonna get this uh, wish heal. Um, it's Incineroar, who's already fully healed. Um, Thunder punches me, brings down a 9%. Um, I'm gonna knock off, just keep knocking off whatever kind of items I can, because that is really important. Um, these items are really, really dangerous to my team here. Uh, poisoned again, of course. Uh, Thunder Punch does take out Toxapex. I felt like we were comfortable enough where it. Toxapex definitely did his job. So now it's a Greninja and Cinnaroar. I do a U-turn. Super effective, obviously. Well, not, not super effective, but, uh, you know, super fast. Umbreon comes out again. It's going to get Hydro Pumped. Umbreon is done. So now it's a 2-1-2 two -two matchup. I'm looking pretty good here because everyone's getting poisoned. Um, if Muck had come out early, the Toxic Spikes would have been gone. That crunched in massive amounts of damage. Brought him down to 40% with a Hydro Pump. I was so thankful that landed. That right there might have just, you know, saved me the game there. Crunch came in, killed Politoed. So now it's a one-on-two matchup. Greninja and Muck versus... Uh, uh, Titar and Muck versus Greninja. That gunk shot takes out Titar. So I'm really thankful for this. Muck comes out, absorbs the spikes. How did he have known that Muck absorbs the spikes? I felt like he would have been better off in this game. Uh, but Gym, Le Gym Leader Ross did you know, I think pretty good. Um, I left him a little link there to my channel. If you guys can see, um, you know, just trying to spread the word about the channel. You know, I really enjoy battling. I'm not the best battler as you guys can see clearly. Um, I just don't know a lot about the prediction side and a lot about how move matchups, I guess go. And I'm not, I can't really remember all the resistances and all the neutral damages and whatnot, but yeah, so this team's going pretty well. It's not a hundred percent finished. I believe I, uh, most recently I swapped out some mons, so yeah, but yeah, you guys be sure to enter in this Cascade Badge Tournament so you guys can get a chance to win the badge. It'll be a lot of fun just to, you know, challenge everybody out to see what they can do. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.